You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. changing your life with fibromyalgia this is lives changed with your host deborah lundquist through knowledge and prayer deb has learned to live with this difficult and often misdiagnosed disease get spiritual and good practical advice for achieving good health and acceptance while living with fibromyalgia so now please welcome the host of lives changed deborah lundquist Welcome to Lives Changed, a show about fibromyalgia and, as such, other chronic pain. I'm Deb Blomquist, your host, and you're listening to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. In 1999, I had a horrible accident in which I was told I should have died, but God had other plans. I acquired RSD, which is reflex sympathetic dystrophy, and also known as CRPS, which is the worst pain known to man. And when the doctors put that to sleep, we discovered I have fibromyalgia, as well as several other pain diseases and autoimmune diseases. To learn more about me, you can read my bio on the Lives Changed page that you're on right now on the BBM Global Network. All of our radio shows are being saved there as well. I do need to say I am not a doctor or in the medical field in any way. I will not diagnose, suggest you start or stop any medications. I do like audience participation. So if you will grab a pen and paper and write things down that you find that might be helpful, that would be great. And if you have questions, write those down as well. And then you can email them to me at liveschangedradio at gmail.com. Or you can call while the show is live at the telephone number that is at the top of the page that you're on right now. That number is 866-451-1451. And again... It's 866-451-1451. And your questions will be answered live if the time allows. Of course, if you call at the last minute, there won't be any time. Also, let me give you some other addresses where you can reach me. On Facebook, you will find me on my support group, Your Y-O-U-R Fibromyalgia. Just go to Facebook and do a search for your fibromyalgia. I also have a web page called your, again, Y-O-U-R, fibromyalgia, LLC.com, and that's all one word. And I have another web page, my name, deblundquist.com. Again, that's all one word, deblundquist.com. You can also call me personally at 815-214-9443. And if I don't answer, please leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Again, that number is 815-214-9443. If you have comments about the show, please make them on the My Lives Changed page that you're on right now on the BBM Global Network. All you do is scroll down and there's a comments section. The first thing I like to do on every show is repeat affirmations out loud. This is something that you should do every single day like I do. They're really important for you. You need to say them out loud, just not in your head, because everything 
is more important when you say it out loud. And especially when you first start, it's important if you do it in front of a mirror looking at yourself because I know it seems strange, but it's like somebody else is saying it to you. Okay, if you haven't written them down yet, please do so today. Here we go. I am not alone. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am needed. I still have a purpose. I am important. And we're going to do it again. And like I said, if you haven't written them down, please do so. I am not alone. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am needed. I still have a purpose. I am important. Okay, I like to tell everybody what I did during the week last week. So, last week I worked more on my life story on deblundquist.com. And I talked to people on the support group and posted on there as well. Bob trimmed out the big window in the living room, which was never trimmed out. And, oh, my gosh, does it look pretty. He even washed the window, which I don't think has ever been washed. So, anyway, uh, and he also painted the walls. Now he's getting ready for the wainscoting. Anyway, so I spent a lot of time in the trailer again, and if I make believe, it's almost like camping, so I really have to make believe because I can still see the barn and all the outbuildings, but that's okay. That's okay. Last week, we talked about the 30 things to start doing for yourself. I hope you paid attention, and I hope that you uh, took some notes and started working on this. This week, we're going to continue to talk about completely different realm of things that you might not have thought about. Also, last week, we put a question before the support group and asked them if they were asked to give advice to newly diagnosed people what they would give them, what they would tell them. And oh my gosh, you know, the support group, when we give them questions, they always come through. Um, This time they did the same. So they gave such good answers that we're going to go through them here. So here's the first one. First, give yourself the time needed to adjust to this diagnosis. Don't let others tell you what it is all about. Every fibro person is unique with a medical denominator of the same diagnosis called fibromyalgia. Please work with your physician and ask for a dietary specialist to help you find the best diet for your needs. Remember, you will hear many say there is little known about this disease. I know for a fact that is just not true. I was one of the first in Minnesota diagnosed with it. And since that time, I have seen it diagnosed as a disease in October 2016. The fact we have sites like fibromyalgia, communities, and organizations And the support group, your fibromyalgia site, found on Facebook, has given us a community to give us places to share and learn together. As with any diagnosis delivered to a patient, there comes questions, doubts, and fear. It is difficult to accept any diagnosis, but with fibro, the medical people have been known to not fully understand what it is and where it came from, other than rheumatologists discovering it through their patients. Seek out the most knowledgeable, and whatever you do, don't do any of it alone. Ask for your family to be involved. If you have a significant other or spouse, 
ask them to be involved also. You are not alone and don't allow your thoughts to control your need to ask for help. I'm Deb Lundquist. You're listening to Lives Changed, and we have more information and advice from the support group. So don't go away, because when we get back, we're going to continue to talk about this. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. There are artists, and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Colde Beaux Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20 year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Welcome back to Lives Changed. This is Deb Blunquist, your host, and we're listening to advice from my support group, Your Fibromyalgia. And we are in the middle of the first um, bit of advice. So here we go. We will continue. You don't always need to be the strong one. Let others know and be honest, but most of all, be true to self so you can be honest with others. It may not always be easy, but you can have good days. Allow yourself the right to have the bad days that will come with fibromyalgia, but also allow yourself the good days without overdoing. Find your balance. You have as much right to be here as the moon and the stars in heaven and the sand and the shells on every beach. Hugs, my newfound fibro friends. Make that gentle hugs, as we say to one another in the fibro network of our friends. Just a thought from red-eyed reporter and old fibro mom, Mima, and grandma. The next comment, one thing at a time. Give yourself time to adjust. Then try different therapies one at a time. That way you know what makes a difference. And don't believe the miracle cure crap. There isn't one. Some people get relief with some certain things, but it's not going to magically don't go away. Don't let other people get to you. Either ignorance or disbelief in this condition by others is very trying. Pace, pace, pace. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Life has a new normal. Every activity has a price. So pick your battles. The next one is be gentle to yourself. You just had a shock to your whole system, even though you may have been living with this for years. Give yourself time to adjust. Give your family and friends time to adjust. Some meds help, some do not. 
trying to see the happy in things can help on some days to get through. The next one is choose your battles carefully, even on the okay days. Don't apologize for your, quote, new normal, quote. Not everyone is going to understand, and that's not your problem. That's theirs. Next, get a good probiotic. Cut sugars and carbs from your diet. Work on your gut health. It's made a 100% difference for me. Now, I'm going to insert here. If you're asking where to get a good probiotic, um, go to Walgreens is my suggestion. And ask the pharmacist for a strong, because of our guts, we need a strong, all-natural probiotic. And Walgreens has a very good section of all-natural products that don't have garbage in them. Okay? Next. List all of your symptoms and the time of day that you have them. Also, list any activity you may have done that may have made them worse. Also, list the levels of the pain you are in. Keep this diary along with the medication you are taking and how often you need them. If you journal every day, you will find patterns on what may be making you worse. Also, pay attention to the weather changes and the temperature high and lows. By me making more aware of the weather and my activities, I am able to, be, to help control my pain. Now, I would like to add here, also pay attention to the patterns of the wind. If the isobars are closer, the wind is going to be stronger. Also pay attention to the seasons and how you react to the season changes. Okay, next. It's not going to be easy, but you will eventually find a set of routines that work for you. People will misunderstand you through groups and others sharing in this experience you will gain much needed support. Take your time, give yourself time, and work at your own pace, not an expected pace. Next, don't expect everyone to accept it. You will hear lots of useless things. For example, you don't look sick. I hurt as bad as you do. It's all in your head. Just get up and do more. Don't listen to any of it. If you are tired, rest. Don't feel bad for having to rest. If you hurt, and you will, you will have better days. Just remember that. Stay as strong as you can. It won't be easy, but you can and will survive. Next. I would suggest you seek a good emphasis on good rheumatologist. Then I would suggest when you see one, make sure you tell him or her everything about your pain and aches. Know your limits. Take your medicine properly. Don't overexert yourself. For heaven's sake, if you feel like crying, cry. If you can't move hardly or the bed sheets hurt your skin, well, accept it. It doesn't mean you're going crazy. But if your rheumatologist ever tells you it's in your head, now listen, well, walk out the best you can and find you another one. This is a widespread pain. And fibromyalgia syndrome, although now it's called a disease, has been affecting many women and some men. But I do know, stay away from caffeine. It will cause you to hurt more. And the peaks of fall and spring, seasonal changes might affect you. 
This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we will be back in just a bit with more advice. So don't go away. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we are hearing advice from my support group, Your Fibromyalgia. They really wanted to give everybody out there, the newbies, and maybe those who are are having a hard time with a diagnosis. So we are continuing Everyone almost has the same or almost the same chronic pain. Prayer and trust in God is what helped me. The next advice, know your limits. This is really important, guys. Know your limits. Always listen to your body. Have patience with yourself. Don't let others make you feel bad for what they can't see. Don't overread. This is the next one. Don't overread on your diagnosis. Take each symptom at a time and deal with them individually, not as a whole, because there is no cure for fibromyalgia, but there are meds to help you cope with each symptom. Next. At first, I was just grateful to be given a diagnosis. I went so many years without one. No, they still aren't sure what to do with us, but I do feel it is better than what it was before. Keep your support team tightly around you and educate them as you educate yourself. Accept that there are going to be good days and really bad days. There are going to be things that you can't do anymore. However, with the right support, some of it is still possible on shortened period of times with or without accommodations. Take time to let it soak in and not try not to ignore it. Join support groups and keep journals of your day-to-day experiences. This helps me a lot. I look back to see where I have lived through something before or someone said something wonderful to me. Never give up, emphasized. There are people who love you and support you very much. Do your research and keep your life as simple as possible. My most important piece of advice is 
Always love yourself. Next. At first, I was really miserable. Felt like I had nothing going for me. It felt like my life was fading away. I've had it about four to six years. Still not diagnosed by my doctors yet. But I'm looking at life right now, and I want to live. I'm trying to get out more. You just have to give yourself something to do. Set a goal. Remind yourself what makes you want to move forward. Next. Live every day to your fullest, no matter what. The pain is going to be there. No matter what you do, what you take, trust me well. Start a goal every day, big or small, and always keep living. And if you need rest, stop, rest, sleep. Take that time you need. Only you know what you can take or give. Next, be your own advocate and don't blindly accept information from doctors. Many are not as informed as they need to be on this. And don't be afraid to search meds the doctors give you until you find out what works for you. Next. Keep a diary to help you understand your condition as everyone is different. That is so important, fellas and gals. Choose your health care professionals carefully and don't be afraid to seek a second opinion. It is your decision what drugs you do or do not take. Once you have adjusted to the, quote, new you, unquote, try and stay positive, even if you can only manage something small, like being able to sit in the sunshine or walk around the block. Next, educate yourself, read, learn what your symptoms are, what your triggers are, and what your lifestyle changes you can make that will make for better quality of life. Educate those close to you. Let them know the effects of stress on your illness. Remove yourself from others' dramas. Look for types of diets that will give you better health. Alternative methods of relieving pain. Just say no to opioids. They are not worth the hassle. And I'm going to add on to this. They make fibromyalgia worse. Okay, back to what they are saying. And doctor shop to have for and doctor shop. So you have a specialist that will work with you and for you. Next, remove any processed foods from your diet. That's so important. You don't want to start, keep eating chemicals. You need to get that stuff out of your diet. Okay, I just inserted that. Heal any unresolved abuse and traumas. That's very important, folks. Try to get a little exercise every day, even if it's just walking. Love yourself enough to heal your body and not make it sicker with unhealthy foods and thoughts. Be kind to yourself. Your body is listening. That is so, so true. Next, don't give up. Find a doctor that understands, and they're out there. Find a support group online. Going to anything in person will become difficult and you need people that understand more often on your worst days. You may try many medicines before you find what helps you and it can change over time. So don't get discouraged. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. You're listening to Lives Changed 
And I have a whole bunch more advice coming from my support group, Your Fibromyalgia. So don't go away. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we are listening to advice from members of my support group, Your Fibromyalgia. So we are talking, we're continuing with advice that we started with before the break. You may try many medicines before you find what helps you, and it can change over time, so don't get discouraged. Pay attention to side effects. Sometimes they are worse than a medicine is for this. I learned the hard way and dangerous way. Don't be afraid to ask for help. It's one of the hardest things when your body doesn't let you do what you used to. And I'm going to add in here, especially with type A personalities, which I've already told you most of us are. It's okay to cry and mourn for your old life. My life slipped away in small pieces at a time. And one day it hit me like a ton of bricks. But letting myself mourn also let me embrace the new life, though very different, can be rewarding in its own way. Sometimes tired is pure exhaustion, not your old tired that you can push through. But it's okay if you listen to your body and go back to sleep. Keep a journal, at least for a little while, to figure out what times of day and what days you can manage to push through in order to get to doctors. I've been blessed as my conditions worsened over the years. My doctors understood the cancellations on so many times, and now I spread them out with recovery time in between. And I avoid any appointments on Mondays that require me going anywhere, if at all possible. The weekends with my kids is always so much fun and happiness, even if it's just watching them play video games or cartoons all day snuggled up. And I so love church on Sundays with them and my mom. But it drains me, and it's highly important in my world. So I make the time for that and juggle other appointments around that. There are still plenty of times I can't make the drive or sit up or just breathe comfortably just in case I can make the pain. And when the plan works, it's awesome. 
find the thing that is important and pursue that and do not beat yourself up on the times you just can't. It's okay. We all have those days. Remember, your body will change over time. Be flexible. Forgive yourself and rest. Next, there will be days when you will feel very depressed and guilty. Some friends will leave and some family will be very hurtful. Learn to listen to your body. Know your limits. Don't be afraid to say no. Next, know your limits. Know you will lose friends along the way and family will not understand. Don't let them make you feel bad about yourself. Till they have it, they will never understand. Next, allow yourself to be honest about how you feel. Don't panic. Remember to breathe deep. But don't pretend it's all okay when it's not. Next, this is my daily motto. As painful as it may be, it's very important for your your well-being to move, to keep moving, to never stop moving. Be patient and be informed. Absolutely do not give up. There will be doctors that don't believe you. But listen to your body and don't give up. Till someone listens. Next, I would advise being sure all autoimmune diseases have been eliminated and have all of your tr- nutrients and vitamins checked on a regular basis. You know, folks, that's very important. Next, when your body says stop, you have to listen to it. If not, you will pay for it the next day. Next, do not take the meds just yet. Go natural remedies, change the way you eat, no sugar, no sweets, no dairy, exercise, stretch, take baths, relax. Next, buy the book Fibromyalgia for Dummies. It's such a wealth of information. Next, don't feel guilty for this. It's not your fault. Never blame yourself for being diagnosed with something out of your control. Now, I hope you really heard that. Listen to your body. Doctors are not always right. Don't always have your best interest in mind. And despite their, quote, medical expertise, quote, don't truly understand this illness themselves yet. It's still very much a mystery for doctors. And a lot of them will try and make you think things that are not true because they themselves are misinformed. Three, be your own advocate and research, research, research. Ask questions, make lists, be that which, with a B, if need be. At the end of the day, you're going home with this illness and the doctor's getting paid to feed you pills and false information even if they aren't aware that's what they're trying to do. And I'm going to add to this. If the doctor is not giving you what you need, you are paying the doctor. Therefore, you are the doctor's boss. So if you're the boss, you can fire the doctor and go find another one. Right? Okay. Four, spread awareness everywhere you can. I'm sure there is a cure for this. Well, there's not a cure right now, but maybe in our lifetimes. 
This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Blundquist, your host. Don't go anywhere because I still have advice from the support group. Patricia Fayeweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline, and she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes, and she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305 705 3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back to Lives Changed. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. And we're getting advice from my support group, Your Fibromyalgia, on Facebook. Okay, take things one day at a time. And if you can't do everything you used to, it's okay. Next, in my case, I needed to be told, don't stay mad all the time. You didn't do this to yourself. And that was that came from a man. Next, water is your friend. Drink plenty and try exercising in it. Water aerobics. Drinking water washes out those toxins. Next, try your hardest to accept that your new, quote, feel de- decent, quote, is much different than before your first flare-up. Hugs. Next, keep moving to the best of your ability. Never give up. Next, don't let it take you down. Mind over matter. Eat right, exercise, and stay positive. Next, Hang on, it's going to be a bumpy ride, but you got this. Welcome to the Warriors. Next, it's not your fault. Next, you'll have good days and bad ones. Hang on. Next, reduce your stress. Next, don't sit down and give up. Keep moving. Next, take a good probiotic and keep a healthy gut. And we've already talked about that. Next, never, ever give up. Next, prepare for a long, never ending roller coaster ride. Next, Take care of yourself first, always. Okay, so thank you, your fibromyalgia on Facebook. You guys are awesome, as I told you in my latest post. 
You always amaze me. You always come up when asked a question. You always follow through. I just cannot, I cannot find anything I ask you that you do not, not follow through with. Anyway, our next subject is nine hard things you have to do to move forward with your life. Maybe it's a life, and this is from Mark Chernoff. You can find his page on www.markandangelshernoff. Maybe it's the life lessons I was forced to learn the hard way, or the toll of loss and failure I had recently endured. But a decade ago, in the midst of a panic attack on my 27th birthday, I had to admit to myself, right then and there, that the youthful world of possibility I once felt now seem dead inside of me. And I know we feel that way. I wanted to feel light and free and ambitious and passionate again, but I didn't know how. Right, guys? Luckily, I had a wise mother nearby who gave me some good advice. She told me that she could see the positive, passionate young man inside me but that I needed to do some soul searching to reconnect myself to him. I don't think my eye teeth can see what I'm reading. As I attempted to follow my mother's advice, I remembered that I used to have two quotes written on post-it notes hanging on my bedroom wall when I was a kid. I like these quotes. Accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in your journey. I think that is an awesome quote for what we are living with. Don't be scared to walk alone down the path less traveled. And don't be scared to love every minute of it. I love that one too. Except we are not alone. We have people who love us, and we have people who are walking down this path with us, right? So I wrote these quotes down again, just as I remembered them, and I posted them up on the wall over my nightstand. I woke up to these quotes every morning and for several years thereafter, and they helped me keep centered. I also took tiny steps day in and day out until I knew I was finally moving down the right path again. So this kind of goes with some of the advice that the group gave us. Take slow steps forward. Make goals, small goals. For someone else who feels stuck and without a real sense of how to take the next step forward, he he offers the following suggestions. Practice thinking better about yourself. You have to admit you spend a lot of your time subconsciously belittling yourself, thinking you're not enough, trying to be someone else, someone who fits in. Someone who's less sensitive, less needy, less flawed, less you, because you felt broken, you didn't want to scare people away, and you wanted them to like you. And that's what you did at the beginning. You pretended you didn't have fibromyalgia, and so you made it worse, right? You wanted to be seen as worthy and lovable, especially when people started to go away from you. Really? That's exactly what you did. And so for the longest time, you hid behind a facade of fake smiles. And you inadvertently betrayed yourself for the purpose of pleasing everybody else. This is Deb Lundquist, your host. You're listening 
to lives changed. Don't go away because I still have some more information. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards she is a spirit book of the year gold medal living now book award winner and her book is a number one amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the living now spirit book of the year an inspirational speaker mj will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life your life did not just happen to you you chose it which means you can change it visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024 There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Colday Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. And we're talking about you subconsciously belittling yourself and thinking you're you're just not worth it. And you just keep belittling yourself a little bit more day after day. Because... You're just not who you used to be. And you realize that no matter what you do now or how much you try to change, that you can't do it anymore. Because you finally realize that you're not being true to yourself. And that... People aren't approving of you anyway because they don't believe in you. They don't believe you have fibromyalgia. And they're walking away anyway because you're having to cancel things and you can't help it. And so you don't know what to do. And... And, and you're, you're really belittling yourself because you're having to cancel things, right? I know it. I did it. But you are still worthy. And your ideas are still great. And your feelings are still right and good. And your needs are important. And without anyone else's validation, you must be who you are and you must live in your truth, even if people don't like it. And the people that don't like it aren't important, right? The people that walk away, the friends that walk away, weren't your friends, they weren't really your friends, okay? You have to understand that, and you have to learn how to love yourself. So, the show is coming to an end, my friends, 
And I'm so happy that you listened today. You're the best. You're wonderful. And although I am not a doctor, I understand. I've lived with this for 18 years. And it's not easy, but once I realized what was going on, and once I realized I didn't want to live like I was living anymore, it started getting easier. And I'm one of those people that finds humor in everything. So once I started doing that, it was much easier. You're listening to BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. We're on Mondays at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, every Monday. You can find me here or on Your Fibromyalgia on Facebook or on Your Fibromyalgia LLC.com or DebLundquist.com. And you can also call, uh, send me an email at liveschangedradio at gmail.com. So I hope you are with us next week. I'm Deb Lundquist. This is Lives Changed. And I thank you so much for being here today. Remember, you're stronger than you think. Fight on. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Lives Changed with host Deborah Lundquist. Find out each week how Deb can educate, guide, and help you get through the daily challenges of living with fibromyalgia on Deb Lundquist's Lives Changed. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.